Okay, so we've been renovating the trailer and we got down to the point where we were gonna look at what we want to do with this floor. And we looked at um, doing vinyl flooring, um, the glue, de the stick down kind and the floating kind, but it was so expensive and we're trying to do this on a budget. Um, so we have decided that after watching several videos, we are going to do a paint treatment on this floor. And after watching lots of videos and talking to the good folks at Lowe's, I'm going to take it a little further than I probably have to. And I am going to actually take my little sander. And yes, I do have a mask to wear and everything. So safety first. And I'm actually going to go over the floor real quick. One, to fix these couple of places we had to patch, but also to take off any kind of shininess, kind of score the floor if you wish. And then we're gonna use the Valspar, uh, Valspar uh, bonding primer. And then we're gonna use a couple of different colors of porch paint, uh, porch and deck painting, which everybody said would work awesome. And lots of people have done it. I haven't seen it done in an RV, only in people's houses online. So we're gonna give it a try and see what happens. Hey everybody, I've had a few people here ask me about how the painted floors in my travel trailer are holding up and I wanted to do a little video and share it with you. So let's turn on some light. Woohoo, get a little light. It's daytime, but okay. So um, these had terrible linoleum floors before. Uh, they were a really off white, yellowish brown looking color. And when we were looking to redo the floors, we had an issue with how much it was gonna to cost to put down the vinyl flooring, how much it was gonna cost then to have it installed because it wasn't really something with my injury um, I could do. So we looked at a lot of different options and we decided to do floor paint. And we went right over the linoleum that was here. So first we uh, sanded it with a little orbital sander to give it a scratch coat kind of thing and then we cleaned the floors we just soap and water and then we did a solution with TSP cleaned it really good to get any more dust grime grit stuff out of it um, we put down two coats of Valspar bonding primer and then we did two coats of the light gray and then we did the stencil over the top and it is awesome. We love it. I mean, it's kind of a funky pattern, not for everybody, but we love it. And it has held up really well. Now, the only time there's been an issue was I dropped a really heavy box with some stuff in it and something sharp poked through the box and actually hit the floor. So we had a little scratch in the floor, but that came, I think it was a knife or a barbecue fork or something came through the box. So the best part was, is all I had to do was take a little bit of sandpaper and I just buffed the little spot and then cleaned it really good and then took out the leftover paint that we saved in a little plastic container, flipped it open with a little paintbrush, touched it up, let it dry, totally good to go. And it was awesome. So, and if we ever decide we don't like this pattern, the best part is we can just go through with a light sand you know, give it another scratch coat, paint it another color, so, or a different pattern, or whatever we'd like to do. One of the things we did also find, though, is that um, it didn't clean up as well as we had liked. So, we have, when we're camping, a lot of the times there's, like, berries and stuff that are outside that get tracked in, and we do have a shoe mat to put your shoes on, but, and then we also have house slippers, if you wish. So, uh, but every once in a while, the dogs bring something in or we come running into the trailer for a real quick something and we end up getting one of those berries mashed into the floor and we don't see it. Um, and most of the time it came out great, but there were a few times that it didn't. So 
we were looking for a way to kind of more seal the floor and we were going to put another layer of like sealer over it and we called Valspar and they said well there is a sealer in it we'd be afraid if you put another one like a top coat over it it might not adhere and then you'd have some peeling and things like that so we decided not to go with a real heavy sealer but we've found this rejuvenate all floors restore and at Lowe's I think and we were looking at you know it seals up all the cracks and it puts a shine and protects your floor so we tested it on a small spot in the bathroom and we put it on with just a soft towel you know just rubbed it on by hand and we let it dry and we went back and we double checked and we would keep checking it to see if there was any issues that happened and nothing did. So we did the whole trailer with it. Um, we did two coats. It, it said you could get away with one, but we actually did two. So it's a little hard to see, but you can tell it's a little shinier now than it was before. But what's really great is since we've put this on, it cleans up so much better. So this is how it's turned out so far. We walk on it, the dogs are in and out. It's been great. So uh, I think it was less, it was about maybe less than $150, including paint, brushes, stencil, everything. And it was easy to do, so I could actually do it myself with my daughter. So I would highly recommend, and again, if we decide we don't like the pattern or we want to change our color scheme or whatever, all we have to do is just Give it a quick buff with a sander, wipe it down real good with a solution of TSP, let it dry, and paint it another color. And the best part is the Valspar floor paint, you can do it in whatever color you want. So we got a paint palette, and this was one of the colors that went with the other colors that were in the palette that we used in the trailer. So that's how it's holding up. It's holding up great. Can't say anything bad about it. Love, love, love it. The Valspar stuff worked great. Totally recommend. Okay, hope you guys have a great day.